when I say bakut teh, I think uh, you know that this is a very famous Malaysian food. If you are from West Malaysia, um, I think you will agree that I say the most popular place or location that produce bakut teh will be Klang, Selangor. However, actually in East Malaysia, especially Sabah, they can do quite good bakut teh also. So that's why we are here today. Uncle Buffalo is going to meet up with Auntie Frankly. This is going to be very interesting. And uh, from what I see from their menu, oh, I think they provide quite good hakakushin also. But is it good enough to impress me? Let's see. Now we are in uh, Auntie Frankly, but first of all, I have to say that when we talk about uncle and auntie, you know, like Uncle Buffalo, you see my face, you see my outlook, you know I'm an uncle. Uh. But Auntie Frankly, I, I imagine that this is an auntie also, but no, the owner of Auntie Frankly is a young lady here. So, but um, yeah, this is Fion, which is the owner of uh, Auntie Frankly. So first of all, why, why are you using this name, Auntie Frankly? Since you are not an auntie at all. So the Frankly comes from a name that's made up of a few names. Mm -hmm. My grandpa is Francis, so the friend. And my mother's surname is Kong, mm -hmm. so uh, K. And Lee is my father's surname. Okay. So our family name and that's so merged together. And auntie is a persona. Especially for Malaysian, uh, you know, Malaysian we call auntie, uncle, we feel so close. Uh. Uh, we're gonna introduce Jeffrey uh, too, and Jeffrey actually is a chef, a professional chef. I would rather prefer to be called the humble cook. Why I chose this place? Because when you find that there are good food, you travel the distance to come here. Yeah. Yeah. And when uh, a mutual friend of ours, um, Bernard Chu, mm -hmm. recommended me this place, I, and I found that the I come here for the especially two dishes. One is the chakwe tiao and mm -hmm. the other one is the the bakute with with a sawa sarawakian twist. Yes. I call it, <laughs> and that was fantastic. That's why I'm here. First, we opened the restaurant because um, and we wanted to do bakute mm -hmm. because we found that at that time there wasn't anybody just focusing on bakute yeah. as the main dish in the yeah. restaurant. So that's how we started. Okay. And uh, bakute in Sabah, it's quite herbal. Mm -hmm. And it's also a balance of meat, meat flavor and uh, herbal flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they're all, um, the soup feels quite light. Mm -hmm. okay. And meatball is one of the predominant things in, uh, in the bakute in Sabah. Mm -hmm. What I particularly like uh, anti-friendly bakute is, is, is clean taste. Yeah. It's, it's herbal, yeah. but it's, 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 the, the taste is not very clean. It has a, a very unique Sarawakian herbal taste, which yeah. I like it very yeah. much. Okay, so we know bakute, and what uh, impressed me is dry bakute. You see, quite a lot of Malaysians that they come to, yeah. to Melbourne, they can do bakute, but not everybody can do dry bakute, and not those authentic dry bakute. And besides that, you actually have other food that, um, of course, mainly uh, Hakka cuisine, like the Hakka Loisa. Um, you call it Thunder... Thunder tea rice. That is direct <laughs> translation. <laughs> direct translation. <laughs> even, even though back in Malaysia, it's not easy to get good uh, Hakka Loisa, this Thunder tea rice. Yeah. So, to best, because there's quite a lot of different uh, ingredients and the soup is very important so it, does it bring the flavor so it, it's actually see how good is the chef and uh, the, 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 the dish itself firstly i recommend the beef ribs that's okay. one of the for me it's one of our brand's most uh, i would say creatively uh, made dishes yep. because it's a collaboration between um, our head chef which is Stephen Tan Ah. So he is from Medan originally, but he studied in Penang for a while. Okay. So this one, we braise it first for three hours, and then we put it on the char grill again. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so the format pre presentation format is, um, I would say, it's taking a bit of Western approach to it, mm -hmm. but also staying true to the Malaysian flavor profile. So that's what our brand concept is. All right. Basically, yeah. Um, and you serve with blue rice. Yeah, coconut blue pea flower rice. Wow. So is this an Indonesian style yeah, to serve the uh, beef it's ribs it's with the one. peanut yeah. sauce? So I think this is uh, really good. <laughs>it means fried and boil together. You you fry them two in one. So normally when we cook noodle, it's either you fry or you boil. But this one actually two in one. So you can get both a taste in one dish. Uh, and when I first heard it, that also I'm quite surprised. And yeah, they they they're doing very good on on that one. So that's your own recipe. You so the the chicken soup. Um, so using the old chicken that lays the egg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we boil that for a few hours, make the stock, and mm -hmm. then. We put different kinds of mushroom inside with some dates and dried sotong again. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and so that that soup is from my late grandfather. Okay. Are you the one who create all these uh, recipe dishes, or actually you get it from your family? So some are from my grandfather. Like. Some mm. from from eating back home and mm. trying to recreate the beef soup, and then some from my chef Stephen. Mm. Yeah, and then, and then some just um, recipes that are learned from different places yeah. actually out. Yeah. No matter how, they actually do it um, very well. I should say it um, all a very good Hakka cuisine. So especially those from Malaysia, you come here and if you are Hakangin, uh, I think you will get the taste like just just like back into Malaysia and 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 that that's really good. Um, so before we continue, just want to let you know that we have introduced all these dishes today and I think you would like to come and, and try. And uh, Fionn is actually generous enough, so if you can uh, purchase the voucher through uh, my website, unclebuffalo.com.au, or you can actually just press the link at the video description, um, you're going to enjoy a special prize. 
um, you can actually purchase a $50 voucher, but you just need to pay $38. Am I right? Uh, at the same time, uh, as I mentioned in every episode of Uncle Buffalo Charimakan, so if you like this video, uh, if you're watching through YouTube, press the subscription button, share the video, leave your comment, tell us what do you think about uh, Auntie Frankly, um, even no matter you, you've been here before, if you've been here before, just tell us about the food or you just want to come here and try, leave any comments. Uh, or you can actually share our Facebook uh, video and leave your comments too. So we are going to pick six uh, lucky winners, okay, from those that share all this thing or do all this stuff, and we're gonna give away prizes. So um, the prizes from Uncle Buffalo myself will be this. This is a uh, Buffalo product, which is a stainless steel bowl. I'll just open and show you. So it's a colorful stainless steel bowl and uh, it's a stainless steel inside so it can keep warm very well and it's much more healthy because it's stainless steel so if you tap out bakute go back home you just heat it up put it here and it can keep warm for a longer time especially very good during winter so um i have three of these i have three of these to give away and uh fion is also generous enough to give another three um you tell them what are you going to give away three twenty dollar gift cards very good so it besides you purchase uh, the voucher through anglebuffalo.com.au, you also have the chance to win the $20 voucher from, <laughs> uh, from uh, Fion here. Uh, what you need to do is just share the video or leave a comment. So uh, before I end this video, anything else that you want to tell our viewers and want to share, Jeffrey? Well, all I can say is in, in a Mandarin way, how true. How true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks again for watching Uncle, Uncle Buffalo uh, Charlie Makan. We hope to see you here in Auntie Frankly, no matter in CBD or in Houghton. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Bye.